Today, let me discuss with you the new age marketing tools. As marketers, we all know and understand that gone are the days where advertising, marketing and sales were driven only by the basic principles. When you see outdoor ads, TV, newspapers, radio, they were at one point of time considered the most premium input for marketing. Brands wanted to consistently ensure that there was maximum brand push done to create awareness. To be honest, we have entered a new era of marketing. Now, this marketing communications is in the world in which we operate as a business has shifted. Now, it hasn't been an overnight change, but over recent years, the pace of change has actually accelerated faster than ever before. What constitutes as media is changing daily, and we need to adapt and change to this new world of opportunity. Now, what exactly is driving this change? It's driving or it's driven by technology. Now, technology is the enabler for deeper human experience. Now, when I also say technology, it's not from the brand point of view, but from the consumer's point of view. That is, what technology is allowing a consumer to do at any point of time. There is no doubt that technology is one of the biggest facilitators of change in our industry. As marketers, technology is empowering consumers like never before, and that's also providing infinite more opportunities to interact and know our consumers better. The world is digital and will only become even more so. This offers great scope for us to create even deeper experiences for our audiences. So, of course, as marketers, what we need to be honest enough is to acknowledge the fact that technology and not mere advertising will actually be the biggest drawing point to reaching our consumers. Now, consumers want personalized one-on-one -on -one interactions with brands and marketers are beginning to see how a targeted approach can stretch their marketing dollars further and generate the leads even faster. So therefore, this changes everything. Honestly, today, when brands spend on big cricket matches, football World Cups, and book you know, full-page print ads, there's one big reason companies spend these monies on, on these marketing methods, and this is purely for bragging rights. Sell them these kind of spends, they convert to lead generation and sales if they are not supported by an able 360-degree new age marketing approach. So today, we will discuss the four most important parameters as a marketer and a marketer that he must be aware of to put to practice. Now, the first most important parameter to being a new age digital marketer is to look at digital media. Now, my first advice to everyone is it's time to ditch habits that don't translate into the digital world. Now, I'm sure everyone will agree with this statement and mention that they all think that the brand needs to be digital. Well, the keyword is not think. The keyword is habit. Whatever your past habits were, if they do not give you a digital amplification and scope to connect with your consumer online, then you need to rethink. Digital marketing has become an important area, if not the primary area of focus for most small business leaders. Most new age startups that you can think of, think digital advertising first and allocate almost 50% of their marketing spends. Developed markets are already spending 30 to 50% of their marketing budget on digital advertising. Even large organizations in India have also witnessed the impact and are earmarking at least 15 to 20 percent of their marketing budgets to digital advertising. Now, these numbers are only set to become bigger and bigger. What's also interesting is the mobile spends bifurcation within digital advertising. Again, the developed markets are spending over 70% of their digital spends targeting mobile devices first and not just large digital screens. Now, this becomes extremely important to a country like India, where for a large majority of people, the first point of internet, or rather I would say the only point of accessing internet is via their mobile phones. Hence, for a new age marketer, it's important to understand data around the consumer habits using their mobile phones as well as their digital habits. The components of digital marketing are the second parameter. The second most important parameter for being a new age marketer is to look at one-to-one -one marketing. 
Today, the evolved consumer is not just looking at large print ads or billboard ads. The mobile has become their personal space. These are instances that you see everywhere, around each of us. These are advertisements that scream to get out attention and the consumer is only transfixed to their personal digital screens. Thus, it's very important for us to ensure we reach out to the consumer in an absolutely non-obtrusive way. Now, this level of micro-segmentation involves a granular understanding of our consumers' real interests along with their current position in the consumer journey in order to segment and target by individual behavioral interactions. Based on real-time and past activity, big data and technology can recognize previously unknown connections and respond to them in a way that raises customer satisfaction as well as revenue. For example, if you look at a McDonald's app, a consumer walks into a McDonald's store and day in, day out, he's been going to McDonald's every day at one o'clock to have lunch. Now, it will be a fantastic for McDonald's to understand that there's a consumer who reaches every day at one o'clock in the morning or one o'clock at uh, lunchtime to order a Big Mac. Now, the personalization or the one-on-one -on -one communication should be that I feel McDonald's is offering me a personalized discount voucher which says, hey, because you're coming every day to have a McDonald's meal at one o'clock, I'm going to give you a free dessert. Now, this is a one-on-one -on -one marketing where I'm not really giving out an offer to tens of people who are standing in that queue. This offer is personalized exactly to that particular one person who's standing in the queue, who's coming every single day, having lunch at McDonald's. Now, this is a point where a consumer would absolutely appreciate one-on-one -on -one interaction and one-on-one -on -one marketing. The third parameter in new age marketing is very important and it's called content marketing. Now, content becomes a very crucial element of new age marketing. Today, people are looking to consume likable content. Hence, what is likable content? The reason people use their personal devices is to connect and communicate, of course. However, at other times, this device also doubles up as an entertainment and content consumption medium. Great content does the following. It helps in search optimization of your digital properties. Two, it keeps your consumer glued to you. If he likes your content, he likes you, and therefore people buy products from people or brands that they like. Three, the ROI of content marketing is one of the best and yields more stickiness over other forms of marketing. The cost and time of production and creation is far lower. Four, content marketing helps brands also experiment with new ideas that they would not otherwise in high spending TV and print categories. Customer driven content marketing can help a company address potential concerns and convert customers to make purchases. It's paramount that a marketer understands that similar to technology, the understanding of content that has been catered from consumer point of view than the brand point of view. What's also important is looking at co-creating content with your consumer. Your consumer today is not just someone who consumes content. He's also someone who participates in your content. He's a co-creator. Right? He creates content, he's part of groups, he shares those content pieces and hence it's extremely important that we center the content around the consumer and not just around the brand. The last and the most evolving and simple yet complex parameter is Internet of Things. Now here's a term that was purely termed with hardcore technology few years back and something that was associated only with geeks. Many marketers did not consider this prominently and thought it was a passing fad. Cut to 2018, and IoT has become a main play for consumers across the planet. Yes, the developing nations are still a while to go on making it a mainstream form of marketing channel, but its evolved citizens have already started adopting it in their daily lives. The meaning of IoT is purely a world where all things are connected to the internet. These are devices that simplify our lives by ensuring that the consumer never feels disconnected at the same time carries his or her world wherever they are. Quite simply to put, majority of us already own IoT devices or are familiar with its existence. Some common examples are the smartwatch, one of the mass products 
to adopt IoT technology, the smartwatch performs a number of tasks for the consumer. For instance, track their sleep hours, track their daily steps and physical activity, aid media streaming activity, call notifications, and much more. Second, smart lights and appliances. Now, smart lights and bulbs provide the convenience of controlling these devices from a consumer's mobile device from any part of the world. A consumer is in total control of these appliances, be it switching the air conditioner on before or reaching home or preheating the microwave. The level of convenience. Three, home security. Smart cameras and locks to ensure the security of your home is always under your lens when you're away for a holiday or gone for a long trip or simply to keep an eye on children at home or pets while you are away at work. These devices can detect unusual movements and activity at home and send alerts to the homeowner. Four, think about the personal smart assistants like Apple Siri or Amazon Echo. Now these devices help make calls, set reminders, talk to you about weather updates, news, or simply book your movie tickets. Now, according to reports, there are projected to be 200 billion IoT devices globally in the next two years. While there are challenges in the complexity of using this medium, but it's clear that there are endless opportunities for marketers to tap IoT to connect with their consumers. What makes IoT important is how people are searching for information and discovering content. Today, people are using voice to search for content. They're not just browsing through the website, they're not typing content, but they're looking at IoT devices, which is enabling them to reach out to the content in a seamless manner. So for instance, today, your IoT devices, they make for purchases very simple. Think about NFC. Now NFC, which is near field communication, has changed the way people are making payments in the West. Today, all that a customer has to do is swipe his debit card with an NFC enabled device by just tapping it. As a marketer, now this is one of the best solutions where we can address the customer's payment issues and make purchasing a smooth, breezy affair. Even in today's times, a lot of small businesses and e-com startups have lost a significant amount of traffic due to the complex or tedious checkout processes. IoT offers to sort out this challenge and convert it into an opportunity. Let's examine more opportunities. Ordering your favorite pizza. Imagine you had a fridge magnet, which you put on your fridge, and at any point of time you wanted to order your favorite pizza, all you had to do was tap that button. The button would activate a communication using your Wi-Fi at home and connect with your favorite pizza outlet and order your favorite pizza. Second, ordering your health supplements. Imagine you had to call for your whey protein or you had to order for your supplements. And at every point of time, you knew that this particular box of products would last you exactly 30 days. So all that you have to do is again, go and press on a button on your fridge on the 29th day and the order would be pre-perceived. The site, the e-commerce site that would have your card details, that would have your account details, exactly would transfer, uh, credit the payments from your account and ensure that the purchases have been fulfilled and reached to you in the next two or three days. IoT access to office or school. Now imagine if you had to take a look at the classroom of your child, right? You hear an IoT access wherein there's a camera in the classroom of your child and you're accessing it through your an enabled device and your IoT enabled device, which gives you a glimpse or gives you a peek into your mobile phone, exactly what's happening. So thereby assuring the safety of your child at school. Similarly, the same can be done in your own office. You can also look at IoT access for rural healthcare, where we know that doctors are not freely available in rural centers. IoT enabled devices like your smartwatches can ensure that you can have a very good control over the health aspects of a per person from the rural area. You can check how active this person is. What are the sleep parameters? Are they consuming enough carbs or proteins or vitamins that macronutrients are bang on? This is how IoT comes into play and ensures when a doctor visits a rural area once a month or once a week, he has access of this particular person's records. Now here's an interesting example of how Amazon and Tide have come together to solve a common consumer problem. While loading your washing machine, you suddenly realize you are out of washing powder. What do you do? Amazon's dash buttons allows users to automatically order products when they are running low. 
In cooperation with Amazon, Tide uses a dash button to help customers automatically order new Tide detergent which then appears on their doorstep in a matter of days. The process is effortless, a simple touch of a button. While the opportunities for a new age marketer are immense, let us also take a look at two important challenges that a new age marketer will come across. Number one, doing everything. The single biggest challenge for a new age marketer is that there aren't enough specialized or vocational resources available in the market. The demand for these new marketers is immense while the supply is limited. Also, for instance, digital marketing, there are over 10 types of specialization. For example, an SEO expert may not be as good as making creative social media content. Similarly, a website designer will not have a search marketing as his core skill set. Just because someone is a digital marketer does not mean that they can run a digital marketing campaign themselves alone. Just like the principle of the traditional media world, the specializations and departmentalization of digital marketing and new age marketing has to be defined and identified and therefore the right resources are to be needed to be placed as project managers. Usually, a digital marketer struggles to find enough time and resources to devote to marketing. And when they do focus on marketing, they spread thin in a hundred different other areas. Hence, it's important to find the right employees, vendors or marketing agency who can very clearly understand your brand business and also focus on your marketing. The second important challenge is how to define your success. When we talk about new age marketing, it's just that, it's a new form. Which means, while the techniques aid in ensuring a better marketing experience for the marketer and better touch point for the consumer, the metrics to define success are also quite new and varied. For most small business leaders, they don't know if their digital marketing strategies are working or not. This means that the majority of small businesses are spending their marketing budget on strategies that they are uncertain are working. Or for instance, if a product has been designed with IoT, how exactly would one use the valuable data of it to ensure that the sales are much higher? How do you solve the challenge? There are really two keys. Take time to determine your goals and identify the key performance indicators that drive towards that goal. For example, if you want to generate more leads, set a goal, then find a way to measure things like inbound traffic, new potential leads, qualified leads, conversion rates, etc. Taking time to do the hard work of setting your goals and KPIs before you get into your day-to-day -day grind of managing your digital marketing campaigns is essential. Concluding, we are in a very interesting time with technology and consumers both are constantly evolving and it's sort of a revolution period for marketers as well that will define the way business is done in the years to come. New age marketing doesn't mean we have to write off traditional forms of marketing campaigns, but also look at to bring a single company message to a large pool of potential buyers, along with fragmentation of the same in a customized and personalized manner. To summarize, the new age marketer must A, be open to understanding technology from a consumer point of view. B, look at digital advertising as an important spend. C, tell compelling story. And D, willing to stay connected with the consumer 365 days a year. Thank you.